Welcome to Sun Awesome Games, good looking people, I'm Rob, and we are playing Disney Infinity 3.0. We are going to check out Spot from the Good Dinosaur and all his dinosaur buddies. See what skills and abilities he has, isn't he a happy little chap? Yes, he is. Let's quickly jump to his skill tree. He doesn't have much going on in the skill tree. Uh, so once again, you can go the health path if you want. I don't bother with the health. Uh, I try not to get hit, use my block encounters and stuff. Uh, Mid-air recovery, of course you're going to need this. Super jump, and then you can super jump again, or hop spot, so he'll jump higher. And then you can increase his strength, so he'll be a little bit stronger in his fighting. Uh, we put a whole bunch of points in this, just because there's not much in the melee in that. So, wild thing. Spot quickly attacks the target, Why? then bounces ferociously between additional targets as directed. It's kind of like the kid from the Wild Thornberries. Just an insane little animal child. And then you can increase how many times you can use it. It's very much like Yoda's move, how he bounces between characters. Uh, just except it's spot, he doesn't have a lightsaber. And you can increase the damage and the recharge rate. And you can just put points into getting a whole bunch of uses out of it. So we're like, I think 14 or something is the max. And then increase damage. Melee, not much going on here, just damage increaser. We can increase the air affected by his ground pound. He has repel, so you can repel an attack just before an opponent hits you. And increase the damage. You know, combo is nothing special there. And then range, once again. Uh, it increases his damage to his RT, where he kind of leaps forward. And then you can hold it down and do a dash. That's how we started this video. He was running around. That's his dash, like the Hulk. And then you can increase the damage. And that's it. That's all there is. He is a super jumper. He has maximum strength. And he's a wall crawler. Though wall crawling is not a skill you need to upgrade. You can just, if there's a climbable wall, you can... Climb up it with Spot. Perfect, right? So we'll check out his fighting style. So he does this little... He chucks dirt and stuff like that. He can also fight in the air, so if you jump and then attack, he'll bite and do some different type of moves. His dodge, you know, his little ape-like child. And then this is his dash thing that he does. So if you're far away, you're like, ah. Of course, that's how all characters are now. So if they don't have a ranged weapon, they get a dash like this. If they can't shoot, they dash. And that spots. And then if you hold it down, you do a little run. Bum, bum, bum. Pretty cool, right? And he, he leaves like drool on the ground or something. What are you leaving there, man? I'm pretty sure that's drool just flying from his mouth as he runs. We can't see his face. That's what I'm going to put it down as. Let's drop some enemies in so we can do our special attack. I was planting some trees before. And then I was like, you know what? Let's do it. Let's uh, check out Spot. Uh, who do you want to fight? What suits you, Spot? Nothing really dinosaur -y is there. No real dinosaurs. You would have no idea what robots are. Let's drop in some bears then. Some wooden bears. Drop in a couple of these dudes. We'll drop in... Six. And we'll do a special between them all. They'll jump in. And that's his uh, hold down Y, as you can see. Pretty cool, right? So that's his block breaker, which we didn't demonstrate. We waited for these guys. And then this is his special. He'll bounce between them all, just like Master Yoda would. Those little bears are weak. Very weak. So we've got 10. We've got 10 left. So let's drop in 10 bears. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. Let's see if we can jump through them all. Go! Oh, we missed one. Alright, let's repel his attack. Come on, man. Come on, let's go. Oh! <laughs> so that's pretty much all the spot. Let's check out his dinosaur friends. Of course, the first one. These are the power discs. You've got to buy these separate. These power discs. Uh, we'll drop in his good buddy. The actual good dinosaur. Arlo here. How humongous is he? When I saw these power discs, I was kind of like, Oh, that's pretty cool that they've got Arlo as a dinosaur power disc. But And he's like rideable and stuff. But I was kind of bummed that they were power discs. But then when I put it down and saw how huge they are, I was very happy. Like, this is cool. And they do talk. They do talk occasionally. You can make him do an attack as well. So that's him screaming. There he is. Good old little Arlo. And then you can run around. I love that the whatever character's riding on the back will uh, raise their arm as like a signal to attack. It's cool. It's cool. Like we'll get a, uh, a better example. Sorry Spot, we're gonna drop you out for a little second. Uh, we'll drop in our good friend, Ultron here. So, so you can see how big these guys actually are. Like, look, they're actually, they're a good size. We'll drop in Butch as well. Good old rancher Butch here. 
Drop him in. He is enormous. See what I mean? These aren't like some slap together mini version of these dinosaurs. These are the legit full on size. It is so awesome. Butch is humongous. And we're right here. We do a little roar. And then you can see that hand raise. How cool is that? And they do talk, as I said. Let's get Spot back in here. This isn't your video, Ultron. This is Spot's, man. That was just for size reference. So you can see that they are... It's not just Spot making them look big. They actually are legitimately huge. And then you can see Butch, Hopper, Rancher himself. And then he, of course, sprints. Leaves dinosaur tracks. So you can basically make a dinosaur theme park. Like a Jurassic Park level. And have dinosaurs running wild. And these roars and stuff aren't just for, like, fun. They actually do do damage. So if we drop in some more bears... You ever wanted to ride a T-Rex and fight bears? Let's hop on his back. And Arlo's attacked us as well. Rah! There you go. T-Rex coming through and getting in his way. Yeah, And we'll roar at him. It's kind of like the scares that Mike and Sully can do. So he's cool. They haven't spoken yet. They do speak. We'll drop in... We'll lose Butch, we'll drop in Ramsey instead. He is Ramsey. Got some spikes in his head and stuff. He is also huge. And their movements are so cool. And he rose as well. And they can jump, of course. So they're just like they're just like your normal uh your steed, your normal steed that you'd get in the game. But enormous! And they can roar. And attack. Like that's cool. That's just Really awesome. They're not saying much though. Let's keep you in. We'll, we'll lose Arlo. And we'll bring in... Dash. I mean Nash. Sorry. I had Star Wars in the mind. Because it's Disney Infinity 3.0. So you know Dash Render. I don't know why. I knew I'd get confused. There we go. We got Nash here. Bit of a goofier dinosaur. I'm so bummed. They're not saying anything. They normally do talk to each other. Of course, when I'm recording, they don't. Speak. Speak to each other. Just speak in general. So yeah, these are the powders that you get. They are actually legitimately awesome. I'd say... It's cool that you get three T-Rexes and... Uh, what is uh, Arlo? He's like a Platosaurus or something like that. He's not a Brachior, but he's like... It starts with a P. Um, but yeah, you get three T-Rexes. I mean, if you get two players, you have just dinosaurs everywhere. Like, you could have... How many, I think you can put down two hexagonals. Oh, no, you've got Arlo as well. There we go. So you could have... If you had two people playing, you could have six dinosaurs rocking about here. Let's drop in a second player real quick here. And then you can see how many dinosaurs we can have. We'll get all the powders off. Bring in a second player. To take over. You are a guest. And we can see all the dinosaurs that we can have. I thought it was only three you can have, but you can have. I mean, I thought it was only two you could have. Hello, me, point one. Let's get you in here, buddy. Joining us. There we go. Alright. So, we'll get Ultron to fly on over here. Yes, you are, buddy. Alright, buddy, calm down. My quest for the perfect world. Calm down, sunshine. Who is player number three? There is no player number three. Alright, so, if we put down Arlo. Two Arlos. We put down Nash. Two Nash. We put down Ramsey. We get two Ramsey. I don't think uh, Butch is going to work, is he? Uh, which is pushing a little too far. So look at this. Look at all these dinosaurs we have. How cool is this? I'm going to lose Arlo, actually. Arlo's the bottom one. Of course he is. Let's get a whole bunch of T-Rexes in here. Sorry, Arlo. There we go. There we go. T-Rex City! A flock of T-Rexes. Awesome, right? Just straight up awesome. You want to ride one as well? And then you can roar at each other. Face each other off. Oh, there you go. They're singing. See it talk to each other, dinosaurs. How menacing is this? Rawr! Are you like them apples, Ultron? What are you gonna do, man? 
So it does do damage to each other. Of course, because it's an attack. Let's see if we can destroy Ultron here. Get into a good position and then we'll wrap it up. I hope you guys enjoyed this look at the good dinosaur characters in Disney Infinity 3.0. So long, Ultron. Oh, sorry, I was roaring over the talking. I can never be defeated. But there you go. The good dinosaurs. They're all good in my book. Alright, here's the thing. Oh no, we got shot! So much for deflecting, right? Uh, we'll do his super move, his special move. That's it. Just like the wave of energy out and knocks people away. Handy 